2023 Black Friday. This is Edwina Adams and I'm live from the funeral of Black Friday 2023. I'm here at a Kohl's in Central Texas and it's not very crowded. It's already 8 a.m. I didn't rush out here this morning. I didn't figure there was a need to. The parking lots all along the way, all the other stores, empty. Economists have said this will be the litmus test. Just how bad are people off in this economy? And guys, this is bad. <laughs> I'm being silly, but I mean, there's some cars right there, but it is a pretty empty uh, parking lot. And there's, oh, there are two people in line. Two at 8 a.m. on Black Friday at Cole. So I also went to the mall and I was able to park up near the front door. I was like the third row from the front door and there were parking spaces open next to me. So, man, this Black Friday is looking pretty dark. 1570. All right, this is James 5 and 1. It says, go to now ye rich men, weep and howl for your miseries that shall come upon you. So what? These bankers are what? They, they didn't cash out. They thought they were going to get this big bag. And what? Black Friday was a total disaster. All right? The law is what? As you know, uh, what? This is going to cause what? The, the economy to collapse. And then the what? Bring forth the chip. They see that what? The people don't have no money. Now it's time to what? Bring forth the pressure now. All right? Now it's time to what? Advance their agenda. All right? The so-called white man is as a serpent crawling around his prey, waiting on what? The right opportunity. All right? So what? Black Friday being a disaster is a clear indication that what? This, econ this economic collapse is about to get ready to happen. All right? Let's continue. It says your riches are corrupt and your garments are moth eaten. Your gold and your silver is cankered and the rest of them shall be a witness against you and shall eat your flesh as it were fire. Ye have heaped up treasure together for the last days. So who all has the money? The rich people. All right, let me grab this in the book of uh, Second Ezra, chapter um, 16. That's the spirit of the Lord right there. God, leap. Heavy. Heavy. Second Ezra 16. And, um... Let's start at 47. And they that occupy their merchandise... Uh, let me start. Let me go up a little bit higher. Uh, uh, let's start at 40. It says, Oh, my people, hear my word, make you ready to the battle. And even, even in those evils be as pilgrims upon the earth, spiritually detached from this place. All right, and what? On the move. All right, because what? We're going to be on the move from what? That persecution. All right. Verse 41, he that selleth, let him be as he that flee away, and he that buy as he will lose. See, that's going on right now. That's the spirit, right? Those that occupy merchandise are what? Lose it. All right? That's the spirit right there. He that selleth as he that will flee away, and he that vibes, he that will lose. He that occupy merchandise as he that will not profit by it. So what? These Walmarts didn't profit on Black Friday. The Lord shut that shit down. Right? The so-called white, these so-called white people see that it's the end. Right? They go and look at their portfolios, their accounts. Right? The scripture says what in the book of Sirach? That their prosperity has to have what? A perpetual reproach. So this is what we're seeing. The Lord what? Bring forth judgment. The Lord intervening on our behalf. The Lord said what? 
sit, let, uh, sit down on my right hand until I make thy enemies thy footstool. This is what the Lord is doing. Powerful. Second Ezra 16. And uh, and what? All you got to do is just go with the Holy Spirit. It's a flow. See? All right. It's time! Sound crazy, though. This Black Friday was a complete and utter bust. Even the online, right, sales were far below what was expected. The in-store sales. Nobody came in for Black Friday all over the world. Do y'all know what that means? That's the signal. It's about to go down now. Because that was the signal that they've been waiting to extrapolate all the money from the people. Get it all. See, if, 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 if it would have still been a big Black Friday and everybody would have been in the stores, everybody would have been billions of people online, whatever, whatever. Okay, they say, damn, it's a lot of money out there now still. Now they know the people are in a pinch because nobody came to get the stuff for the lowest deals on, uh, on technology and advancements ever. Nobody was at Walmart. Nobody was at your Radio Shack stores. Nobody was at your, you know, the Best Buy type stores. <clears throat> Nobody. Nobody was at these stores, y'all. See, now they're computing all the information and they're saying, we got them. Now they're at their lowest point. Let's strike them. Y'all, okay. Y'all had your Thanksgiving, yeah. I said it may or may not be no Thanksgiving, and it was. But we're going to see about the Christmas. We're going to see. Because now they know the people have no money because the people are barely trying to make it and barely making ends meet, and they didn't have the money to spend on Black Friday. So now they saying, we got them right where we want them. We done drained them now. We tricked them into getting all the technology, jagging off all their money, buying all the unnecessary shit that they was, wasn't supposed to get. But now we see, based on the fact that there are no crowds at Black Friday, nowhere in America, we got them. Now, it's time to break.